Hi, Kathy Mitchell here with my new Dump Dinner Cookbook. Hey, how's it going? I'm Jen. Welcome back to my channel. This is Cook the Book, and on this channel, we decide to pick a cookbook and make a recipe in that book that we've never tried before and see how it works out. Today, we are going to be making another classic from our dump queen herself, Miss Kathy Mitchell, and her Dump Dinners Cookbook. The recipe I have picked to make today is going to be the skillet pasta and beef dinner. Um, after looking over it, it just kind of looks like a homemade hamburger helper, and I'm not mad at it. No, I'm not mad at it at all. So I'm going to go ahead and let you pause this here so you can write down any ingredients that you need. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start making this thing and see if it tastes like hamburger helper when we're done. So the first step in this recipe is to place your ground beef into a large skillet with a cover. Make sure your lid fits the pan because that's an important thing. Uh, your next step is to add one jar of pasta sauce and two cups of hot water into your skillet. Um, and then add your garlic powder and your salt. I just use garlic salt because, you know, just two birds, one stone. Okay, your next step is to bring everything to a boil over high heat, stirring to break up your ground beef. M make sure that when you are buying your ingredients for this recipe, you get the leanest ground beef possible because you will not be draining this meat and you don't want your pasta to be uh, super greasy. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping. Next step, stir in your uncooked rotini, reduce your heat to medium, and then cook covered, stirring occasionally for 15 minutes or until your rotini is tender. And this time your ground beef will cook, so don't stress out about that. Okay, once your rotini is tender, remove your skillet from the heat. Uh, your pasta should be cooked, your ground beef should be cooked, and your sauce will have thickened up. That's because of all of the starch from your noodles. I mean, look how good that looks. That that looks pretty yummy to me. Um, once uh, once you remove it from the heat, sprinkle it with cheese, cover it, and let it stand until it's nice and melty. Okay, so this is where I tell you guys this entire thing has been a voiceover because my microphone decided to crap out on me and I honestly cannot remember what I said once I tasted this. Um, probably something along the lines of how good it looks because you know what? It really does look good. Um, and then when I tried it, probably something along the lines of, oh, this is so yummy, yummy, delicious in my tummy. Because it actually really was a good meal for a 15 minute one skillet meal. It was uh, something that I would definitely make again. And if you guys are interested in making it or you do make it, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're uh, watching this video and you're just kind of lurking around, make sure you hit that subscribe button and when you do hit that bell icon that way you know every time I upload a video and hopefully by the time uh, the next video is out I will have a better microphone so I uh, hope you guys liked it and I will see you in the next one bye